Alright, so my scrawler box just arrived and it's my first one ever and I'm so excited to open it up and see what we got. So it comes with a pencil sharpener, this month's candy, no idea what it is. Uh, each month they include art, looks like this one is Emily Geringe and it is gorgeous. Ooh, and they sent an uncolored one for us as well. Super pearlescent little sketchbook, I guess. I look forward to drawing in that. Oh, the sticker's so tiny. Oh, careful. Ah, oh, I ripped it. Alright, so we've got the Scrawler Box sticker, a Derwent burnisher. You use these over colored pencils, so you draw something. With your colored pencil and you go over it with this and it kind of blends everything together makes it look a little shiny because that's what burnishing is uh we've got a blender that will also help <laughs> that will also help blend everything a v-ball pure liquid ink in 0.7 by pilot triangular shaped pencil by wipo I'm gonna say this is a woodless coloring pencil in the color white. This is their menu that will tell me what all I have in here. Studler set of 12 super soft colored pencils. Challenge word for this month is enchantress. Now for my favorite part, swatching. I'm gonna do the burnisher, blender, and white colored pencil and they are not gonna do anything until I put them over color but I can still try. And yep, they did nothing. I'm gonna try and color over the supplies with the white pencil. I, I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, it's not working. It was worth a try though. Oh no, I was sharpening it and it broke. I've never had one of these break on me before. <gasps> oh, betrayal. Look at all the letters. <gasps> Ooh, this is dangerous. Let's get them swatched. I guess next up is to see how they blend I'm using our colors blender and our burnisher. Uh, I've got this one out already. Let's mix this one with this apple green that I'm so in love with. Oh, now they're swatched. Now I guess it's time to think of a drawing that'll use all the supplies and use the phrase enchantress I got nothing <laughs> mm. all right so I was sketching around and started thinking of an idea for the enchantress and I was thinking like an ice queen situation uh, and she's like looking in the ice crystals and I'm gonna go with that idea. My other idea was sort of a dryad, like a tree nymph enchantress. I usually use pink or red, but uh, blue just doesn't show up as well, but I want this to be kind of a colder looking image, so uh, I'm using a blue so that when I blend everything in it won't uh, get warm tones that I'm not looking for. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on sketching and uh, move on to some line art in a little bit.
now to work on the braids, which is going to be my favorite part. And also, oh my goodness, it's just... I drew a lot of hair on this because you can't have an enchantress without amazing hair. Alright, we finished the hair, took forever, finished the line art, also took forever. Now it's time to move on to the colors. I'm gonna start with just kind of testing them out, seeing what happens. Uh, I don't want to ruin the face because that is my favorite thing to draw in colors, so I'm gonna start with some hands. Well, I guess hand. And then uh, we're just gonna play with the colors, see if I can get a tone that I like, see if I can get them blended. I, I honestly don't really know how to use a burnisher, and I don't normally use a blender. I used them a little bit back in the day when I first started, you know, in high school, but I, uh, I have not honestly used them since. I prefer to do the whole, you know, blending the colors, taking forever to do it to just kind of smoothly blend them out. I want to keep the colors and the tone cool, but I also want to have, have a really nice brown tone to the skin. So it's it's gonna be a delicate balance and I really hope that I can keep it in that cool ice witch enchantress style that I'm going for.
think I made a mistake. I don't, I don't like how this is turning out. I really regret trying to add more colors to the ball. Originally I planned for it to be an ice palace in there. Originally planned for it to be just completely blue and white. And I'm regretting adding green and red. At the last minute I thought, oh, maybe a sunset. Maybe she's looking into somewhere beyond her icy kingdom. Uh, I'm regretting this. So I'm going to actually go in with a Posca pen and try and lighten it up a little bit. This is not included with the box, so I'm kind of cheating here. Yeah, I'm going to try and lighten it up. We're going to add some details because it just needs a little something extra gonna add some white to the necklace and to her face for some highlights. Maybe add a few touches to her hair too. I mean, there's a lot of hair to work with. And here is the finished product. I'm so excited with how this turned out. I'm really happy. Uh, thank you, Scrawlerbox, for putting this together. I hope to uh, continue subscribing. I can't wait to see what the next box is going to be next month. Hopefully it's going to be uh, as exciting as this one was. See you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.